Okay, uh, part two continuing the video uh, was left off here. But like I was saying, the yellow wire is your ignition switch. Basically, it's the same switch that would be in your connected to your uh, your ignition switch on your vehicle, which which mean or, or which means once you start the vehicle, uh, it would set an alarm off. Or I'm using this here to program the uh, the actual alarm so you want to have this accessible to a power source so basically when you want to program power the ignition program your uh, your system um, I also put the I don't know if you can see it this is what they call a valet button or a uh, manual disarm button as well um, that, that and this would be used in combination if you needed to disarm the system um, without the uh, the the remote so you want to have these two accessible uh, to get to if an emergency was to happen so uh, but anyway that's my battery power connection ground connection here uh, let me show you the brains uh, it's kind of a mess it's gonna be a lot of wires but basically what I did I pulled them out for you so you can kinda get a better view uh, I had everything tucked up behind this cabinet for a clean install but uh, I got my second uh, my second alarm here the interior alarm this is the brains this is what's gonna come in the package You're gonna have bunches of wires so basically you want to sit down and look at your instructions and figure out exactly what wires you're gonna need I bundled up the ones I didn't so to make it a little simpler uh, I can go over it real quick here Red wire, red wire to the battery. Of course, the black wire to the ground side of the battery. Uh, you'll be using the brown wire as your trailer alarm. You're positive. Um, and then the, uh, I think it's only four other switches after that. You have the blue and green, which is your negative. You gotta get a little wind and blowing the door shut. Your blue and green wire running to the door switches, to one to the side door, one to the back. Um, these two wires, the purple and the white wire here. I have the white wire going to the positive. It's a positive wire that goes into the parking lights, which makes it flash. And then the purple wire, I put that into the stop and turn signal. Uh, wire underneath the trailer and all I did as I ran that down through the corner and down out and underneath the trailer here and I mean if you can see I made two connections right here so basically you have your turn and stop lamp here and then you have your parking lamp is right here. Just figure out which one is which and make the connection there. I use these handy little uh, snap-on uh, wire connectors. And made, it, made it a lot easier. So, but <coughs> That's pretty much the only other wires you have to run down the wall. Um, then you know on the side here you have your LED which plugs into here. You have your your uh, shock sensor which is plugs into here and then you have your valet switch which was the little button down in the cabinet which you can override or program your system so basically that's it um, tuck it away you can make a nice box or however you however you want to do it make it look neat and, and close everything up um, I have the shock sensor mounted up here as you can see any little touch was Pretty much set this uh, shock sensor off. Um, just make sure you mount it directly to uh, the surface. I don't use any tape because it kind of kills the sensitivity, but that thing's extra sensitive. So um, tuck your wires away, put them up. Let me show you the diagram that I had made, so uh, kind of helps you uh, get a sense of what wires go where this is what comes with the package and this is all the uh, wires that I used 
and where I routed them on the trailer. So hopefully this helps you in figuring out what goes where. Uh, other than that, good luck. Like I said, I did it under uh, 100 bucks. Um, I'm sure you can probably do it for even cheaper. Um, so uh, thanks YouTube and good luck.